EA Sports welcomes you back along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski, set to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. This is not an elimination game here, Ray, but boy, the stakes feel huge in this one. Well, you always hear it when you've got someone down, you've got to step on them. They've got the opportunity to stretch this lead in the series. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Hammers a shot, and he stands tall in goal. Big save by the goaltender once again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We're still scoreless. The Bears take possession off the faceoff. Hershey's got it in the offensive zone. The Crunch have the puck against the boards. Slides it to Joseph. Syracuse has the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Centering pass! Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Here they are on the attack. The Bears will play it against the boards. Moves the puck. Keeps possession. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. From the wing is moved to center. Syracuse plays it against the boards. Dismiss that chance. Centering pass! Oh, and another big stop! Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Puts the puck on net. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Great poise here as he gets it back. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Pass to Carr. And now he tries to get it across to Pilon. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. And it looks like hooking is going to be a call coming up here as the official's arms up in the air. The crunch have been handed two minutes for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick. Parallel to the ice, it's going to get called most every time. Here's a first look at the power play. Well, to this point, the game is scoreless, and now you've got a real great opportunity with your power play on the ice to get on the board first. That first goal is so critical. Make the opponent chase the game. Take it along the wall by Sprong. Thunderous hit, oh my! Now yeah, that one hurt me over here. That is an enormous hit. He closed the gap in a hurry. And he heads outside the comfort zone now to go play the puck in his own end. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And the whistle stops the play, and someone's off to the box. A little too much nasty in the eyes of the official on that hit, charging the call, Ray. I think there should be more charging penalties. You travel 35 or 40 feet to hit somebody, that should be a charging penalty. The Bears roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five-on-three. Pilos won the draw. You can really change the course of a game here with a five-on-three power play. Scores! That's how you draw it up with the extra attacker. Well, you've got the extra man, so you want to move the puck more quickly. You want to retrieve it with greater numbers. They do it all well, and they're on the board. If you can work yourself in that close to the net and then get loose, man, you're just hoping somebody can find you. He one times that for a goal. Hershey's weathered the storm here, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. Always better to play from in front, and they'll want to expand this lead as quickly as they can. From the neutral zone now. And he regains control of the puck. Manages to hang on. 
Here's a shot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. More than half the period left to play. 1-0 the score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puts it to the front of the net. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Syracuse has possession of it now. The Crunch have taken over in the neutral zone. Moves it to Joseph. Takes the pass from the left wing. The Bears have it behind the cage. Slides it over with pace to Carr. It's a two-on-one. Puts it on goal with the stop. The setters will glide into the dot. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Syracuse is no longer shorthanded here. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Moves it quickly over to Smith. That opportunity is rejected. Takes the feed. Scoops up the puck here. Can't keep a hold of it. In close. Scores! What a shot! The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. He almost lost it for a score! Three is the magic number! Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. That pass is on and off his stick in an instant. No stopping it, one-timing it so it's in the net. Still lots of time left in the period. Hershey's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. This neutral zone faceoff set to go and we are back underway. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Moving to the middle, right in front. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. Quick pass to Johansson. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Oh, I mean, Right from there, you gotta get it on the net. He just spun quickly and missed the net. Turn that one aside. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Down the right side and into the zone. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Bears played along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes control of the puck. And that pass goes awry. The Bears carried along the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nice pass. Oh, a clutch save! Syracuse gets the puck near the boards. The Bears going to work on offense. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Nice poke check. Syracuse plays it against the boards. The Bears will play it in their own end. Pokes it away in his own end. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. And the stick breaks. Nothing he can do about it. He's in the right place. He makes the right shot, and the stick is no good. Throw it in the garbage bin. The Bears looking against the half wall. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Steps in front of it for the block. Syracuse plays the puck along the boards. 
A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. And here's the pass to Pilo. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Pilo. Let's it go. He scores. They might as well keep that light on behind the goaltender. Man, again? That's four straight for them here. They have just totally taken over this game. Well, not quick enough or not in the right position. In any case, the goalie gets just a little piece of the shot, and it's in the net. Hershey's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Syracuse wins it. Takes the feed. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Syracuse on the attack. Great pad save. Here in the back half of this period, Hershey's now up by four. Joseph's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that sails over the net. Well, you got to get it on the net. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Puck picked up in the open ice. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the whistle stopping the play. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Gonza's play has been slipping a little bit of late. He's on a pointless streak, and you can tell he's starting to get frustrated. The Bears have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Smith. Look out, a two-on-one. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Bears are on the attack. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. The Bears have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. Syracuse has won the draw and they take possession in the neutral zone. Puck clear from the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. They go on the attack through center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. There's a busted twig on the play, and this is why stick budgets are through the roof now in hockey. Yeah, you could say that's why you bring another one, but it doesn't help you now. By the time you go get the new one, the puck's somewhere else. No kidding. Solid check to slow him down. Great stretch passes and connects. Now over to Sprong. Moves it to Carr. And that one's turned away. He scores! Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. Oh, Shooter puts his own rebound away. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burped this rebound out. Made it way too easy for him. Syracuse is going to make a change in goal. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. Here in the late going of the frame, the Bears have made this a thrashing with their latest goal. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends a pass over. Assisted by number 38, Daniel Sprott. Handles the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Time of the goal, 17 minutes, 24 seconds. 
The Bears are up big here late in the first period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Syracuse will play it from behind the net. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. The Bears have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Hershey's got the puck in the defensive end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. And he denied that opportunity. And another stop. Johansson's got it behind his own net. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Takes the feet at the back end. Wrists one, denies it in front. Copley's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Scarpos has won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Smith's won the faceoff. Forces the turnover. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. He scores! I thought they were going to run out of time here, James. This is a terrific time to strike here. Now you carry over the intermission. You come out for the next period feeling really good about yourself. I think this goalie's going to look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. It's going from bad to worse for these guys. The Bears have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Couldn't complete the play. The first period in the books and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendar. They're available in section 144 at the team kiosk. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period.
And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Second period set to get underway. It was a disaster first. Here we go. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Syracuse has to look at the way this game's been played so far and realize they've got way more to give. They're not going to get back in this game playing like this. Hershey's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to foot. Sends the pass over. Through center along the wing. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. Receives the pass. Syracuse is on the attack. Sends the pass down low. Here's a short pass to Joseph. Battling for it along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Rocks him on the play. And now he angles it across to Joseph. He grabs the puck here at the point. Stopped by the goaltender. Copley's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Hershey's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Carr's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. And that one's broken up. They've got the defense outnumbered and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Copley's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Scrum along the boards. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Takes the pass. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. The Bears are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. Man advantage unit is set. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the faceoff, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. And manages to clear the zone. The Crunch have possession along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Let's the wrister fly, and that's blocked. Makes it look easy with the glove. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. The Bears have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Syracuse takes possession off the draw. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Syracuse has it behind the cage. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Bears will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Shot denied by the goaltender. Copley's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. The Bears have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. 
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Grabs it in his own end. Battle along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Cutting to the front of the net. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Maintains possession. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here's an offensive chance. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Let's see the call here. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection. And that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. Hershey's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The Crush haven't handed a delay a game penalty as that puck went way out of play. Well, that wasn't the plan. He's no. just trying to clear the zone, and all of a sudden, the thing's up in the 15th row. Hershey's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Yeah, it's quite some time on the five on three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two man advantage slip away. From point blank, how did he stop that one? Sharp reaction save. Martin's abilities are clear right here on this scoring chance. That wrister tests them out. The Bears have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Pilon. Looks to set up at the point now. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Pilon. Excellent stick work on the play. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Bears have it against the wall. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Bears have a brief five-on-three looming. This is going to be quick, this five-on-three, but if you can win the draw, you should be able to get a quick shot. Snaps it on net. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The Bears are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Joseph's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Great feed from the left side. Slides the puck over to Joseph. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. Syracuse has it near the wall. The Bears gain possession in their own end. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Molson's got it along the wing. The Crunch have possession shorthanded. Puck clears the zone. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The Crunch have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. They move the puck out of harm's way from the left side into the middle of the new 
neutral zone. Cars already got a power play goal as they're back on the power play again. The Bears ready to go on the attack. Denied that one. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Smith. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Long reach breaks up the momentum. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. And they'll dump it in. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice pass. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Comes up with the stick save. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Grabs it in his own end. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Bears get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Steps inside the line. Sent into the offensive zone. Syracuse plays it up ahead. The Bears look to start the transition game. And he slides it quickly to Johansson. Long pass across the ice. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Right in the slot, and he comes up with it. The Bears with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Not able to connect. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Here they come on the attack. Jostles the puck loose. Urkens is tripped up and we've got a penalty coming up. Hershey's got it against the boards. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. The Bears take it along the wall. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. The Crunch have the puck on the attack. Here's a chance. Stones him in front. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. From the right side, they gain the zone. There's a big hit against the boards. You want to squeeze by because you know the middle of the ice is the bad place. You go up the wall, sometimes the door gets slammed. Gaunt is able to use his skating ability to get up tight to the boards and throw a big hit. The Bears have been the more active squad and they continue to lead late in the second period. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it, trying to clear the puck from his own end. And that should do it. 20 more minutes in the books. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Now's your chance to play clean. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans. For Big third us. period we still to come. We'll get ready Thank for it. You Hope you'll join us. Clean.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. Syracuse wins the draw here to start the period, but still have a long way to go to kill off this penalty. The Bears have it from their own end. Takes a shot, makes the save. Hershey's on total cruise control early in this third period. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Here's a chance to set up now. Keeps hold of the puck. Syracuse has possession of it now. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. Hershey's on the attack. Takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Syracuse will play it at center. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Cars coaches want to get him back on the ice. When you see a player that's feeling it like this, James, he's got to go back and get into the game. Making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. The Bears have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick pass to Joseph. Syracuse plays it along the wing, and that's broken up with a stick in front. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Scoops up the puck now. Moves it over to Carr. Here's a chance. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Looking to set up offensively. Great defensive effort with the stick. He scores! Perfect timing. Well, they've been trying to get through, break through on this goaltender who's been running a shutout. Finally, they get one. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Syracuse back at center ice and hungry maybe for more if they can get something. Yeah, they can't even stop here. They get your scorers out there, James. Attack, attack, attack. Hope your goalie makes a save if he needs to. Syracuse goal. Score. Hershey's got it along the wall. Big save. Takes that pass back at the point. Sends a pass over. Syracuse takes it across the line. The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Handles the puck. Hershey's moving it along the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. The Crunch have possession along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Hershey's got possession here in the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Bears continue to lead big here in this third period. Scarbosis won the draw. From the slot, wrist shot, stones him with the blocker. Martin's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Hershey's moving it into the offensive end. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Made that stop. Another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Hershey's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Syracuse moves it quickly along the wing. 
Moves the puck along the half wall. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Carr. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Strong. Sends the pass over. Stop that one. Hershey's won the draw. Back to the blue line. Fires the one-timer. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Colton's lugging the puck. Passes ahead from the right side. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. They fight for it along the boards. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Strong defensive effort. Pass back to the point. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. To the front! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Can't catch up to the pass. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Wrist shot from the slot, blocked in traffic. Hershey's got the puck in the corner. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Syracuse moves it ahead. Move to the middle. Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. Syracuse rings one off the post, and that's not going to shrink this sizable lead. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Syracuse plays the puck from the corner. And they can't connect. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Takes a shot. Great glove save. Oh, they sure could have used this one, James. He rings this one off the bar. Still trailing. They don't get the break. Hershey's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Syracuse has it in their own end. Carries the puck up through center. On the attack along the boards. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Strong defensive effort. Syracuse has the puck. Takes the pass. Syracuse is across the blue line. The Bears play it along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. Syracuse has it near the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. Officials calling, charging. You agree with the call? I do. I mean, in particular, when a player goes that far to make the hit and doesn't really slow down, it becomes a dangerous play. Syracuse is ready to go back to work on special teams. You can't just shoot the puck and think you're going to beat the goalie cleanly all the time. I think this power play will be more effective, James, if they can get traffic in front. And they manage to clear it. Syracuse has it behind the cage. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Bears move it ahead. Shoots it, gets in front of it. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. From behind his own net. Man, they're back in their own zone again on the power play. They've got to be a little more urgent getting the puck up the ice and into the zone. They don't even have a... Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. With the steal. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. 
Copley's positioning has been really good. Here he's in the right spot to make a pad stop. Hershey's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. The Bears take possession off the faceoff. Schilling's got the puck in his own zone. Smart defensive play there. Here's an odd man rush. Pumped away from danger. Picking up some steam at center ice. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Across the line from center. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Hangs onto the puck. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. The Bears gain possession in their own end. Takes it and looks ahead. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. The guy goes down and you're toast every time. The Bears send their man advantage unit out once more. They've already scored on the power play tonight. They'll get another chance here. James, I don't think they have to change anything with the way they go about it. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And now he moves it to Smith. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick feed to Carr. Into the attacking end. Puts it up front. One-timer. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Hershey's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Slides it across. Fails to find the open man. The Bears have the puck now. Stays with it. Syracuse will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Nice pass back. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Trying to get back on the attack now. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. That pass doesn't go. Here he is, wrists it on net. It's in! It goes off the post and into the net! I've always thought they should be able to fix the goal post so every puck that hits the post somehow ends up in the net. Spoken like a true goal scorer. What a heck with the goalies. They got enough equipment on. <laughs> Seemed like everybody stopped for a little bit there, James. When it hit the pipe, they weren't sure. But it's in the net so quickly off the post and in. Syracuse has a little momentum now here in the third. A goal will give you some, but they need a lot. They need to start piling the goals up. They might even get the goalie out really early. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves the puck. Hershey's got it on the line. Let's the wrister go. Gives them nothing in front. 19 seconds. 16 seconds to go. Takes the feed. And we've got a two-on-one. Turns it away. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. We've got ourselves a 2 nothing series lead. Do you even start thinking sweep at this point? The players aren't. Everybody else is. But I think they played two really good games. Deserve to be up the pair that they are now. Great playoff action here this evening for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next playoff game. Good night.